So it's fall, which means I've been using a lot of these lately. Luckily, I found a place in Texas where I can get some Northeastern Honeycrisp apples. And I, I have just been eating as many of these as I can because I know it's a very short season for these and I love them. So today I'm gonna to show you the oats I've been making lately. So we start by slicing up an apple. And we want it relatively thin. We want small chunks. So we're gonna go both directions. Now I've heard people say they like to use like Granny Smith apples because they're a little sour and it adds a little more flavor to like a sweet meal. And I disagree. I think Honeycrisp tastes the best. And all you gotta do with Honeycrisp is just add less sugar and they taste better. I don't like sour things that much. Sometimes I do, but usually I just like things to be sweet. So I'm gonna give a, a rough chop through these because they're still a little long. I want them to cook a little more evenly. And that's it, that's all the prep work for this whole thing. We're done, we've prepped. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is melt some butter down and then cook these apples until they caramelize. But very much like the Honeycrisp I did uh, around this time last year. So the butter's melted, we're gonna throw the apples in now. Oof. Last. Oh, I dropped one. Oh well. Oh, I dropped them all. <laughs> and now it takes forever. It takes such a long time because there's so much moisture in the apples and they're just piled up in here. It would be quicker if I used a pan, but I don't want to do that. It's a pain. So I'm just going to let them cook for like 15 to 20 minutes until they start to caramelize and then we'll go from there. Make sure we salt these things. And throw a decent amount of salt in there, very sweet. This will draw out the moisture, which I don't know if that helps or hurts, but I always do it, and it turns out pretty well. I'm trying to temperature up a little bit too. It's like medium, slightly above medium. Okay, so they're getting pretty soft, but they're not there yet. I still want them to caramelize. I'm gonna help them out by adding some brown sugar. I like using light brown sugar, Use whatever brown sugar you got though. Like a big teaspoon. I know this is not a real teaspoon measurement, but like about the size of a kitchen teaspoon. Get a big chunk of it, throw it in. And trust me, that's more than enough. Because we're not done with the sugar there. We got other avenues of sugar we're gonna be adding to this. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit now. I'm gonna cook for another minute or two, and then watch what I do. Okay, get a load of this. I have some roasted pecans. Throwing them right in. I'm not mixing them yet, because I also have some maple syrup. And we're just gonna cover the pecans, not too much, but enough to get them all covered, okay? and they're gonna turn into like a, an almost candied pecan. They're not gonna be totally candied because I'm not like baking them or anything like that. I don't even know how to candy pecans actually, but it's not what it's gonna be. But I just want them fully saturated in the, the apple and the syrup and the caramel once it's produced. So all of these things are gonna come together very well. We're gonna cook them for a little while. So I want them to get a little toasty, which is gonna be hard because of all the liquid in here. But we'll get there. Get a little more salt. Make sure everything's salted. Man, I hope this color in these pecans comes out well in this video. It is beautiful. That's a little better. They're looking pretty good. Kinda of broke one up, I'm upset about that. Oh well. Don't wanna break them up. You don't wanna break the pecans up. I'm gonna throw a little bit of cinnamon in. I don't know why, I, I, every time I say cinnamon, I always preface it with a little bit. It's never a little bit. 
We're gonna throw cinnamon in there. And we're gonna mix that in too. And that's not the last we've seen in the cinnamon. Don't you worry. Oh my God. It smells very good. Okay, here we go. Got a cup of oats. Mix those in too. Get them a little toasty. Not too toasty. This is where it could burn, so be careful here. You gotta be quick about this. Just leave that in there. And we're gonna get our milk. I use whole milk because it tastes better. And we're gonna get a decent amount of milk, and that's a lot of milk. I might have done too much milk, but we'll see. Jeez. The good thing about oatmeal is like you can't really do too much milk, because you can either cook it down, or you can do what I'm gonna do in a minute and thicken it up a different way. It's gonna be a surprise. So now we turn it up, we get it nice and hot. We're gonna add some more salt, because we added milk and oats. We want it to be, you know, good tasting. And salt makes that happen. Salt is the primary flavoring for just about any meal. You wanna add salt, it brings out all the flavor. And by the way, I use real maple syrup, not corn syrup. I don't think it would taste very good that way. I would just get the, the real stuff, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down. Pretty much to turn it off at this point. It's almost done. It's still a little wet, but that's okay because we're gonna fix that in a moment. I want it to cool for a second before I do it. So I'm gonna actually take it, I'm just gonna lift it off of the element and let both of these things cool for a second. I have two eggs. We're throwing them both in quickly and we're gonna mix them like crazy. Here we go. Break them up, mix. Come on, break up, there we go. See, it's already overcooking a little bit, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But this is gonna make it super custardy. It's awesome. Make sure that heat is off, and we mix until it thickens up. I'm gonna take it off the heat altogether. Didn't cool quite as much as I wanted to. You can't see what I'm doing right now but you will in a second. I wanna scramble my egg in here. I kinda of wanna just mix it all in. Only a little bit of egg white, not the end of the world. This is not like a gourmet breakfast. This is like a throw it together quickly, aside from the cooking of the apples, and then scarf it down breakfast. I think the eggs are about cooked. All right, here we go. I mean, I know how it is, because I've been making it like every day, but. That's pretty good. It's like a um, mixture of butter pecan and apple crisp. It's delicious. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. I put videos out as often as I can these days. And that's it. I'll see you next time. That's it. Hopefully I'll see you next time. That's ridiculous. I hate outros.